Hi everyone, today I have a very cool piece to show you. This is the Tim Galleon JYD. This is the, the, the third generation um, JYD from Tim. For those of you who don't know Tim Galleon, he used to be one of the most popular knife makers um, in the knife world. So around year 2008, 2009, when you go to the biggest show, which was TKI back then, um, people wanted two makers. One was Lee Williams, the other was Tim Galleon, um, because his designs were really, really desirable back then. He disappeared for quite a few years because he actually joined um, Kai USA to work on, you know, zero tolerance and Kershaw. So you, if you look at um, their lineup, some of the designs were from Tim Galleon. But he, what, what he did there was he helped with all the manufacturing, every single step from sourcing to setting up the machines, final finishing, etc. So he's had quite a bit of an experience. And in 2016 or 17, he left and he started to come back into knife making um, or making custom knives that is and this is one of the pieces after he's left Kai USA so if you look at all of his newer pieces there aren't very many at all it's extremely hard to find in fact um, these ones the quality is so incredible it's, it's much better than his earlier ones I've tried one before it was a mini JYD um, but this is the full size third generation. I'd say this is the XL version. It's, it, it's very big. Um, and as someone who loves small knives, this is not something I typically collect. <laughs> but I, I had to have this one because his work is so incredibly hard to find. And when you handle it, it's, it's really next level. So let's start with the, the body. Um, this is the what he calls the Eagle version. It's made out of three different types of, I guess, carbon fiber slash micarta. <laughs> or actually four different colors. So there's the black carbon fiber, there's the red, white, and the blue which surrounds the whole frame. So this whole inlay is seamless. You can use your nail on it, and usually when you inlay with these, you know, synthetic materials, it, you can make it feel absolutely seamless. So you can run your nails on it, There's, it doesn't catch at all, so that feels really nice and smooth. But what really is more impressive is the way he finishes carbon fiber. So this is what I've not seen on any um, folding knives prior to this one, and have, have not owned any knife where the carbon fiber is finished this way. It's the same way that you finish automotive carbon fiber parts. So essentially, he, I guess it's more of like a, a polish and then he has some sort of coat on it, which makes it look incredibly beautiful. It's, it's, it reflects so nicely in the light and so soft to the touch so it is so soft and smooth and I think you know he said this process was a nine step process so it's actually a very very lengthy process to finish carbon fiber like this and um, yeah it is just really impressive going on next to the action the action it fires really hard and it actually runs on washers believe it or not um, on his newer ones, you can tell because he, he likes to put steel lock bar inserts on the new ones. Um, and I think it does help a lot with the lock up uh, compared to his older ones. Check out the centering. Dead, dead center. And it fires super hard. I mean, you've got a huge 4 inch knife. Um, I think a, a little bit longer, maybe 4.125. Running on washers, which is by the way one of the smoothest washer actions that I've ever tried. 
and having it flip like crazy and that's not you know the detent is also not too hard I mean I, I can open it with my you know middle finger very easily you know it's just super well tuned and you think a huge heavy blade like this would be easy to I guess it might be dangerous but check this out I can't I can't make the blade flop out because the detent is so perfectly well tuned it's just effortless to flip you know it comes out every time really hardly actually it, it kicks like nothing it's it's so addictive um, I, I guess I haven't tried that many big blades but man this thing kicks like a mule and it's so smooth on the clothes on washers I know this doesn't mean as much when the blade is so heavy but trust me this is so extraordinarily um, smooth so I, I, I really love the action on this guy the finish on the frame is also beautiful um, the backspacer as well very lovely polished carbon fiber and of course the blade the signature JYD blade um, has a lovely hand rub he does a perfect hand rub on these so um, I, it's just incredible the lines are perfectly straight the swedges are very they have very crisp lines um, and the ergonomics I usually don't like big knives but the design of how this curves for the JYD it actually fits well in my hand you know fits just perfectly if you have a smaller piece it will be a bit cramped but this is nice and comfortable you're a little bit far away from the blade or from the you know the cutty action but it's fine the pocket clip I love smaller pocket clips like this um, it's got great retention, goes easily in the pocket, and um, yeah, oh, he, I saw in one of his pictures, this is a capture pivot, so you can rotate it without having to worry on this side. So if you ever need to adjust anything or take it out to clean, you can do that, no worries. There you have it, a short little video on the JYD. From Tim Galleon. I hope he makes more knives soon. I know he's had going on a little bit of a hiatus um, for personal reasons but I wish to see him back in the game soon because he makes totally absolutely incredible knives. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.